most of the holidays are time to be with fit loved ones, but for many military families, they don't get that option because their loved ones are deployed. So KRBC's Kelsey Pittman tells us how holiday cheer is being sent to them in tonight's Military Matters report. A family is full of memories, time spent together, but some serving our country miss out on special moments to protect our freedom. The first steps, that first Christmas, that first Thanksgiving, it's the things that you really don't think about that you get every every year that they miss. They miss those first. Carly Carrillo started dating her husband, Brian, in 2015, and soon after he deployed, right before her birthday and the holidays. Not being able to see him, not being able to talk to him, you have to wait until they call you, and maybe it's for five minutes, maybe you get 30 seconds, like, it's not a long call and it's really hard. The surviving families of fallen warriors, American Legion Ladies Auxiliary, and the Taylor County Sheriff's Office are collecting donations to send to Dias Airmen who are deployed overseas to help fill the holidays with joy. Not everybody has a, a wife, a girlfriend, somebody at home that's gonna send them stuff. So even getting something from somebody totally random, it's gonna bring a smile to their face. Make them realize that what they're doing for our country is appreciated. Because the airman's holiday is very different than what they are used to at home. It's nothing like what we have here. Some of them are eating MREs and those things are not tasty. So I mean they're missing those home cooked meals and that's what he would write me. We would write letters all the time and he would tell me how much he missed home cooked food because they don't have that over there. You know they're lucky if they get a hot meal. The groups collected together three years ago raising 17 boxes to send to 82 airmen. I know uh, being separated at the holidays, I got the most beautiful letters from our family and we got really beautiful notes and letters uh, from the people that we send to. They appreciate it so much. In Abilene, Kelsey Pittman, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. Kelsey, thank you. Gifts and monetary donations are being accepted until Tuesday, November 27th at the Sheriff's Office and Halftime Sports on Buffalo Gap Road.